Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Yes, folks, this is a big day for us. We're up on Chiguamagon Bay in Ashland, Wisconsin, one of the best smallmouth fisheries in the world. And uh, we've got Chris Tuton from Fleet Farm with us today. And this is a big day because we are going to announce the winners of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie's Getaway Giveaway. We've got two winners that are going to fish with us today. And first of all, thank you to Fleet Farm for putting this contest on. Yeah, it's been a it's been a great experience for us and be able to do this. We actually had about 40 5,000 entries this year so it was uh, it's been great exposure for both of us and being able to get you know some new people out on the lake in different areas and you know one thing about Fleet Farm is that you guys that do all the buying and the stocking you guys have a passion for the outdoors so you know what we in the Midwest need to fish. Yeah, you know, I've, I've, I grew up in Wisconsin and I've uh, been a Midwest boy my whole life. And ever since I was little, fishing, you know, lakes around Wisconsin, the Chippewa Flowage and Green Lake and Winnebago and being able to, you know, my dad taking me out as I was a young kid. So I, I, I'm, I love being able to do it. Hey folks, we'll introduce you to the winners. All of that coming up right after this. Max family of side by sides, proven to be the best. Realize your adventure during the Yamaha Get On Ride sales event. Get up to two thousand dollars customer cash and low APR for eighty-four months on your new Wolverine R Max. right here in the USA. Welcome back, folks. As we talked about, we're on Chiquamagon Bay up in Ashland, Wisconsin, and we have the winner of the Fleet Farm John Gillespie Getaway Giveaway. It's Bob Fitzpatrick from West Bend, Wisconsin. Were you excited when you heard that you won? I was. You know, uh, I enter a lot of contests, I buy a lot of raffle tickets, and I, I do win a few things, but when I found out through an email that I won this trip, it was really great. Well, we're really excited to have you, and, and you bought a special guest. Who's this big guy? He's my son-in-law. I married my youngest daughter. Um, we do a lot of hunting and fishing together, and I decided to ask him to come along. Nice. Now, were you excited when the old father-in-law said, hey, come on, Tom? Very excited, John. Yeah. Happy to hopefully get some fish in the boat this morning. Well, it's smallmouth bass, and that's what you like. Absolutely. Okay, Josh, we got two good winners, and I want to thank you. You know, you host this event every year for the Fleet Farm deal, and uh, I appreciate it. But this early June, rest of June period, can be phenomenal here on Chiquamagon Bay, huh? Yeah, it's a blast. The fish are shallow, they're hungry. We got a mix of bass, pike, and walleyes. You never know what you're going to hook into. It's a really fun bite. Now, obviously, you know, we're going to use our favorite baits that we always use plastic and swim baits and that, but you always also put out a sucker minnow. Yeah, I like to have a sucker minnow out the back just in case it's a tough day, and a lot of times we catch our biggest fish of the day on that, so we'll have that behind the boat the whole day. Okay, so Bob, the just... sucker rod, the bobber's down, buddy. Ready, Let's set, see. Set. Hard, yep, hard, him. all you right, Bob. Feel pretty good, buddy? Uh, it feels decent. I can't really tell how big it is yet. Ooh, that's a decent smallmouth, Josh. Oh, oh there good job go. there, Josh. Hey, nice Bob, job, Josh. you know, smallmouth are, are fun to Parrot, catch. They are. 
you know they battle you all the time and uh is this about the average size here about the average size that we're getting yeah that's about average there you know in that 18 inch range now listen yeah. to this bob they tell, tell them what the numbers have been lately yeah we've been catching anywhere from 50 to 70 a day so great it uh, should be a fun well, day this is the first one of a bunch yeah, yeah, yeah. way to break the ice thank you the red hot bob in the front of the we boat one on. yeah. what, are you, what are you using there bob I'm using um, the whatever tickle tail. The tickle tail. Yeah, nice fish there. Hold them up, Josh. Silver gray color. Yeah, we're gonna get bigger fish, but that hit is cool, isn't it? It did, yeah. It's yeah, really he ate smacked it. it. Ate it good. It's way in there. Now, Josh, has that been the most effective bait? The paddle tails? Yeah, yeah. The tickle tail's been really good the past week, John. Just slow rolling it, just going right above the wood, and they've been uh, they've been hitting it pretty. Yeah, hard. we should mention yeah. we're fishing pretty shallow. We are. Yeah, we're only about four to five feet of water. So you wanted to get it just about a foot off the bottom. Hey, you're hooked up in the back of the there boat, we go. there, buddy. Yeah. What are you using? A jerk bait. Okay, so we'll go over what we're using for baits, and we're all I'll try something a little bit different here. Oh yeah, that's a real big one. Oh, look at the size yeah, of this small mouth. John. Now Blake, be careful with that old clam yeah, there. Oh, go. is that a beautiful All fish, right. Josh. Woo. But look at the size yeah, of this one. Nice Isn't one that a beautiful there. fish? That is a beautiful fish, Josh. And uh, what size is that, buddy? That's probably about 20 inches. I'd say four and a half pounds. I don't think it's quite five, but yeah, that's a that's a big one. Well, you missed one on a sucker, so your next cast, you got one on a tickle tail, huh? Yep, I actually put the 3.8 tickle tail oh, on. Oh, the bigger one. The bigger one, and oh, did he smack that. Ooh, oh, that Blake, he is staying down pretty oh, cold. That's a look, nice fish. look at the size of that Woo! smallmouth bass. That, oh, clam. Josh, gosh. Almost there. Let's see. The, boy, they do not give up, folks. They just don't. And that is a beautiful Woo! fish. Nice job, Blake. Oh, and man. And you're just doing a steady retrieve. Steady retrieve, because we're in four feet yeah. of water. So, um, all you have to do is cast and do a steady retrieve, and I put it on that bigger uh, tickle tail, the 3.8 on the swim jig, and man, did he, oh my gosh. Isn't that did a beautiful he crush that. a monster. And you know, the cool thing here about Chiquamagon Bay, folks, it is basically a put and take fishery. You can keep one smallmouth that's got to be 22 inches. 22 to inches. Yep. So it's a trophy. So, yeah, it's basically catch and release. Yeah, <laughs> boy, is that oh a beauty. Oh my gosh, man. Ever since I was a kid, bass fishing is by far my favorite, especially up here. Yeah. And that's that's pushing. I bet that's a five pounder. Yeah. Oh my that's god! Five that is a five pounder. Pounder. <laughs> got him! You got him! You got, got him! I'll tell you what, that is awesome having that sucker rod out there, Josh. You know that, and we're just drifting, folks. Oh, that is a big smallmouth. Real Look big at one. Tommy, Tommy. Oh boy! Oh, is that All a right. beautiful uh, nice fish? All right. There big you go, boy. man. I'll tell you what. You come up here to Chiquamagon Bay, you're going to get these four or five pounders, and that is so cool. And that right there is a beautiful fish. Have you caught many bigger than that in your day? I think that's a personal best. Personal best. Hold them out. Come on. That's, that's a right. beauty right there. Well, that's 20, 21 inches, right? I'd say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. No, aren't they beautiful? Very nice looking fish. Yeah, I mean, that really is. Oh, Bob, you got another bite on the set, sucker, set, Bob. Set, 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 Hey, look at that, man. He meant business on that hook set there, Bob. <laughs> Feels nice to You know, Tom just got that big like five pounder. Nice that is such a cool deal, Josh. It really yeah. is. Ooh, he's taking out a little drag. He feels like a nice fish. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's a dandy. Right, nice hey, nice. that's a beauty right there. Good job. And I, I can't get over how pretty the colors are on these fish, too. You know, they're just gorgeous. But uh, you do a lot of fishing and hunting. I know that, Bob. But do you like this smallmouth fishing? Yeah, this is great. I haven't done much smallmouth, but this is really a lot nice of fun. One. Yeah, that's a and nice fish. And we seem to be hitting them pretty well. Yeah, we're, well, we moved out a little deeper here, so maybe that's the key today. Good job. Okay. There you go. It's now time to announce this week's winners of the Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2023 Fishing Contest. Mark Palafas of Fort Myers, Florida, caught this 45-inch northern on Chagamagon Bay on a swim bait. Matt Bacalars of Oshkosh caught this 22-inch smallmouth on Razorback Lake on a paddle tail. Rick Beyer of Nina boated this 11-and-a-half-inch bluegill on Green Lake. He was using a spinner. Valerie Kitzman of New Berlin caught this 34-pound catfish on the Fox River. She was using a blade. 
blade bait. And this week's kids winners are Landon Hiller of Johnsburg, Illinois, caught this 22-inch smallmouth on Sturgeon Bay on a tube jig. And Spencer Kane of Burnett caught this 16-and-a-half-inch crappie on Beaver Dam on a minnow. Each week, I shop online at FleetFarm.com to check out the latest deals. This week, the Berkeley 3-Pack Flicker Shads are on sale for $9.99. And the Suffix 832 Braided Fishing Line is on sale for $14.99. All right, Josh. The way to go there, buddy. That is go. on. Oh, uh, another one on the jerk bait. Okay. That's a pretty nice little bass there. Blake, you want to go? Oh, you can just grab them? I'll try grabbing them here. Yeah, there you go, buddy. You got it. Nice fish. Yeah. But you're working that jerk bait. It's a twitch, twitch, pause type thing, right? It is, yep. And uh, they're, yeah, they're hitting it on the pause. They seem to be a little, it's a little slower today though. I mean, we're definitely working for them. Tommy, you got one on a sucker, huh? Got one, another one. I'll tell you what, that's been a great thing today is having that sucker behind the boat because these fish aren't as active as normal, you know, Tom? Yeah, they Feel, look. Uh, feeling pretty good? It's coming. Ooh, yeah. Staying down, that is a there beautiful, beautiful nice one. fish. Oh my, oh gosh. my gosh, that is a giant. That's Is that the biggest of the day there, Josh? Yeah, it's close, I wouldn't doubt if it is. Hey Tom, I'll tell you what, that is All a right. trophy smallmouth bass nice. right there, buddy. I mean, that All is right. awesome. That's a five pounder, isn't it? I bet it's pushing five, yeah, four and a half for sure. It is amazing, Josh, how many big fish you have here. You know that? The average size is pretty good, and we do have a lot of fish that are in that four to five pound range. What do you think there, buddy? Nice big one. That is a beauty. Hold one them catch. out. There you go. That was a good hook set on the old <laughs> sucker there, Blake. That was fun. All right. This, I'll tell you what, this is a spot where John says he got a chance at a big one, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. See it? Yeah, one more. One more. Oh! There we yeah, go. Oh, is you, that a big smallmouth bass? Jumbo fish! Josh, wait till you see the size of this one. This one is massive. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that smallmouth, Blake. Holy moly. Yeah, that's a nice that one there. That is a beautiful fish. Big tummy. <laughs> yeah. You gotta love the big tummy. So these are the pre-spawn, correct? Yep, that's a pre-spawn female there for sure. And when do they usually spawn? They'll be spawning any, any day now. You know, usually right around that first week of June they start pushing on beds. We were fishing Chiguamagon Bay out of Ashland, Wisconsin, a five and a half hour drive from Milwaukee, six and a half hours from Chicago, and three and a half hours from Minneapolis. They say great minds think alike, which could explain why for over 50 years, more anglers have chosen Humminbird to see the water more clearly. Our tech predicts where the bites are, and our innovations foreshadow the sport's future. We've helped anglers win tournaments and the weekend taught them to fish smarter, not harder. So, if you're not already on board, it's worth asking yourself why, when the people in the know agree that Humminbird is simply, clearly better. You know, folks, with my buddies using leeches and crawlers all day, I'm glad I've got the Johnson Pump Washdown Kit. All I can do then is spray down the boat and get all that stuff out of there. But the Johnson Pump Washdown Kit has another use. It's 92 degrees and humid today. Now watch. I'll take care of my buddy Tom in the back. What do you think of that, buddy? I love it! I need one! Yeah! Can he put them on pontoon boats? They're great for pontoon boats! There you go, buddy! <laughs> Wait until my wife has sees that one. I'm gonna get her, too. <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Bobarama there! You'll see that. I can't really tell how big it is. Ooh, yet. that's a nice fish. That's a real nice fish. Okay, look at that. That's another dandy right there. That is a beautiful fish. There you go, guys. They don't like that boat, do they, Josh? Oh, they really don't. Hey, Bob, I'll tell you what. Look at the camera there, buddy. Now, you caught a beautiful bass, so you know what your reward is going to be? I'm going to guess it's going to be some brats from Johnsonville. That is correct, and we're going to have you hold up that fish, and we'll start the grill, all right? Just in time for lunch. Yep. All right, there you go. Thanks, Josh. Now, that's a dandy fish right there, Josh. And, and you know, that, that 
that on a good day is the average size, right? On a yeah. good day. Yeah, on a lot of days that's about average, you know, in that 18, 18 and a half inch range. Yeah. Three and a half pounds. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this one took I didn't think it was that big when he when he hit the tickle tail, he came right at the boat. And as soon as he got near the boat, he started taking off, didn't he, Josh? Yeah, yeah. He took out some drag there for a little while. Ooh, yeah, that's a beauty right, there, Josh. Nice one. You know, some days, folks, when, when fishing, and, and it has been a slower than normal today, to go to a smaller profile, a smaller bait, right, yep. Josh? Yep. And just reel that steady. And, uh, can you get her? Yeah, let's hold that right next to the fish. And and that's, what size is that, Blake? 2.8. 2.8. Yep, that's it, the smallest uh, tickle shad. Tickle shad or uh, tickle, um, but, yeah, tickle yeah, shad if, they make. And, yeah, and if fishing gets tough, go a little smaller. Yep, exactly. Exactly, downsize, and sometimes that does the, the ticket. <laughs> that was the very next cast. And, and downsizing Ooh, that nice bait made a lot of sense, I think, Josh. Yeah, and it's you paying know? off. And just to, and, and slowing down the retrieve, too. You know what I mean? Yep. That, that's what you just recommended to us, was slow down a little yep, bit? Yep, slow down, just get it down closer to that wood. You know, you are going to get snagged a little bit once in a while, but it's it's worth it because, you know, you can't Yeah, when like they're this. not aggressive like they were yesterday, yep. slow down and get a little deeper. Exactly. Yeah. Yep, and that's going to... Get those a lot are, more those are so much fun to catch, man. He just You don't know how big they are until they get close to the boat. That's what's fun. Even the little ones fight hard. Yeah. Oh, so you put on what I had on. Yep, I put on the little tickle tail, the 2.8. This is the chartreuse one. Well, I think we found the smaller profile is the best way to go. I'll tell you what, folks. Really, the average size today that we have filmed is so impressive, isn't it, Josh? Yeah, it really is. They're... It's remarkable. Now that is going to that smaller bait tub, Josh. I don't want to repeat myself, but I think that makes a difference. You know? No, you're you're right for sure. I mean, ever since uh, you started switching to that, now all of us are switching, and they're they're hitting it. They're really liking it. And they are aggressive. That was at the beginning of my cast. Too. That's cool. You know, Bob. Part of winning this contest is a cookout on the boat. What do you think? I think it's great. Oh, Johnsonville double cheddars look really good. Well, you know what? That's what they are, Johnsonville double cheddars and what they do with these is a hundred percent cuts of premium pork then they smoke the sausage and then they infuse them with cheese but then again they infuse them with cheese so you got double cheddar pre-cooked all you got to do is brown them Tom delicious isn't that delicious Bob great isn't that can you taste that double cheddar mm -hmm. that smoked sausage you can it's wonderful it's really good I and mean, there's a lot of cheddar in it Good, buddy. Hey, folks, look for Johnsonville Better with Cheddars, the double better with Cheddars, at your favorite retailer today. Okay, right. Blake's got one on, and I think there's one on the minnow, too. All right. And Tommy's going to set that hook, and he's got that one. Hey, Josh, we got quite the party going on back here. We're going to need your help. Yep, I'm coming. Okay. Okay, Blake's got hers in, and there we go. Tom's got off. That's Fair, too bad, but uh, <laughs> that's Blake, a shame. Either, but Blake, right. nice job there. And Josh, do they school up a little bit in groups? Oh yeah, they will school up, especially you know when it gets close to the spawn. They'll be in a big group together. You'll be you'll have males and females mixed, and uh, you that, never know what size. Now you're that's a nice average, right? Yes. Right there. I mean, we've been having you know a wonderful day with four and five pounders, and. <laughs> You look at this and you're like, oh, but it's still a beautiful average sized fish. Folks, this is one of the most interesting things I've ever seen. You look up in that tree, that is a big black bear and a cub. Yep. And what are they doing up there, Josh? They're eating the buds off the branches. There's not much to eat out here, so they got to resort to eating buds. <laughs> I have never, he is so high up in that tree there, though, too, you know? They're pretty yeah. good at climbing, huh? They're very good. Now, he'll, she'll stay up there for how long? Usually half hour to 45 minutes, and then she'll move over to another tree, and she'll do that all day long. And what they're doing is just taking those green buds? And yep, they grab the branch, and they just peel the buds off and eat them, and then they go to the next one. Isn't that something to see? That is so cool. Yeah, that's a big animal too. Yeah, I can't is. believe yeah. he's staying up there. No, I know. I'll tell you what folks, there we the, go. the wind just shifted out of the northeast <laughs> and the temperature had to drop 15 degrees, right Josh? Yeah, it's getting cold now. I gotta put my jacket on. Okay buddy, what not do we a got bad here? Oh, there, get that net, Blake. Get that net. That's a nice pike. Yeah, not a bad one at all. We I just... want you to take a look at the build on these fish folks. They're really just gorgeous. Yeah, that's a... That's a nice one. Yeah, that that is a special deal here when you're doing this small smallmouth fishing or the walleye fishing here. The bonus of pike, and last year with us you caught one that was 
42 inches. Yeah, it was a Danny on the cast. And then last week you had a customer catch one. 45 inches. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. Yeah, that's here, a 45. trophy fish. I'll tell you what, folks, that temperature, though, what do you think, man? Yeah. It I was 83 my... degrees, and I bet you right now it's 60. It, it dropped big time. I got to get my blackfish gear on, though. Meet Chris McGillis of McGillis Weimer, experienced personal injury lawyers. You know, they come in and what we do is, we, we, again, we want to hear their story. We want to make sure they're okay. We want to give them guidance. A lot of times we call it quarterbacking their case, right? Help them put themselves in a position where they can get the best medical treatment they're taken care of. What we want to do is make sure that the only thing they have to worry about, John, is getting better, right? We focus on everything else. I'll tell you what, folks, I've been a proud user of Amsoil for many years, and us sportsmen a lot of times not only have a truck, but a boat, an ATV, a snowmobile. And how do you figure out which Amsoil product to use in each machine? Yeah, that can be a challenge sometimes, and you know, we make it easy. We've got a lookup guide, you just go to amsoil.com, you put in your vehicle, whatever it may be, whether it's a boat, a wheeler, a truck, a trailer, whatever. Um, you pick out your product, it tells you how much and which product to put in, real simple. And one thing I want to mention too, Amsoil does does a ton of research before you even put the product on the market. You make sure that it's the best. That's correct. It's years in the making for a product to launch. There's a ton of research and development to make sure that it's going to protect like it's supposed to. And folks, to find the Amsoil you want, go to Amsoil.com. I'll tell you what, folks, what a difference 24 hours make. And this is the thing about Lake Superior. Weather can change in June and July on a dime. It was 83 yesterday. It's 43 today. We got northeast winds blowing at 20 to 30 miles an hour. This is where this uh, storm skin stuff comes in really handy, right? Yeah, you really need it, especially to block the wind, keep yourself warm. It's great to have this time of year. And it's also waterproof. And what I really like about this stuff is it has this fleet lining and it keeps you warm. I keep the storm skin for the stuff in my boat all the time, don't you? I do as well. You have to have it. Yeah. And again, it's called Storm Skin. Storm Skin. By, by Blackfish. Blackfish. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice hook shot there, Chris. Yeah. Hey, good job, buddy. Feel pretty decent? Not a monster, I don't think. Okay. We'll see here. Oh, oh yeah. there we go. Grab the net. I'll tell you what, folks. I'm very happy to see that we got a bite right. right away. Turn around, Chris. Yeah. Very happy to see that we got a bite right away in these weather conditions. Yeah, that was, that was a good one. Yeah, well, what do you think of a 40 degree temperature swing? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we went from sunburns to lots of layers. Yeah, 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 I got gloves on. But are you a little worried about the fishing when you get a cold front like you that? You know, it is probably going to slow it down a little bit, but there's enough fish out here. We'll definitely catch some fish. Hey, that's a good start, buddy. Good start. We'll keep them going. Fishing! Hey, look at that! Fishing. Bye. Bob, 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 stand next to Bob. He doesn't have a microphone on. All right. Yeah. It's a walleye. It's a walleye. Walleye, walleye. Yeah. Hey. Right, All right. Hey, show that off there, Eat it, Josh. Get the juices flowing and warm up. Way to go. Hey, Dave, Bob, you got something you can eat, buddy? You can take that home. Boy, is that a beautiful I walleye. Will. That is a beautiful wow. walleye. I like hey, Josh, it. Nice fish. You can do pretty well in, in early June, huh? Yeah, you really can. There are a lot of them out here. It, it does go day to day, but they're all nice sized fish. I mean, this is about the average size at 19 to 20 hey, inches. Tell the folks how white the meat is on these. Oh, walleye. it's great. Great white meat. Delicious eating. You can have five over 15, only one of which over 20 per day. What do you think, Bob? You taking that home? Yeah, I man, for sure. <laughs> Fish on. Look at old frozen Bob there, man. Put your hood up. It's cold, dude. You need this to warm up. Ah, uh, yeah, we, that's me. I want it to be another walleye. Let's see. Oh, my. Look at the size of that smallmouth bass there for Bob. That is a big, that. big fish. Nice one. That's a nice fish. That's a dandy there. Look at the size of that thing, Josh. Yep. Hey, Bob, I'll tell you what, you're quite the angler. You know that? <laughs> I'm learning. You're not learning. You're a you're, good fisherman yeah. and a good hunter. And that is a beautiful small Nice hawk. one. You got anybody you want to say hi to at all? Uh, say hi to the family, the wife, Mary, uh, my daughters, my grandkids, you my got other son-in-laws. I do. Yeah, nice do. bass. Look at that fatty. Way to go. How you doing there, buddy? Doing good. It's a little chilly out here. I'll tell you what, though, having that spot lock helps a lot. You're gonna need the net oh, here. It's a big smallie. I, I'll, big I'll grab. I can uh, grab them right well, here. Whatever. Let's see. What we got. They're big fish, though, huh, buddy? Yeah, it's a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a dandy. 
That is amazing. And I'm so darn surprised how good this fishing is this morning when you got a 40 degree temperature drop, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's actually not too bad. I mean, the biggest thing is just, you know, being effective with your cast and the wind. You know, you want to cast into the wind or, or down with wind. the wind or, or into yes, the wind. Yes, yeah. yep. Not, so, yeah, that was nice when I just put on a jerk minnow and a Google Eye jig head, and that was probably my third or fourth cast. So, it's nice. a good sign. Yeah. I'll tell you what, even when it's cold like this, folks, you get excited when you get one of these babies on. They just battle you so cool. Oh, there's a dandy, Josh. Nice one. That is a beautiful bass. All right. And I'll tell you what, folks, if you're planning a trip up here to Ashland, the River Rock Bait Shop and Inn is the place to go. He's got the most gorgeous hotel rooms, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got a great, great hotel rooms. He's got a cabin right on Chewamigan Bay you can rent. Um, it's it's so close to the landings. You have a lot of other options going inland or going to the rivers or going out here on Lake Superior. The coolest woodwork I've ever seen in, in the rooms and in the cabins that he rents, and they're so clean and they're inexpensive. But again, it's the River Rock Inn and Bait Shop. And you can catch some of these. Exactly. Oh, you're getting hot with yeah, the jerk like minnow it. there, Josh. The old jerk minnow. And we moved to a spot where this is a walleye bass mix. Yeah, there could be anything in here. Okay. We're hoping for a walleye, but I wouldn't mind a big old small either. No, me either. Another nice smallmouth bass aroo there, buddy. Yep. And that, that chartreuse color on that jerk minnow is one you really like, huh? I do like the chartreuse. It sticks out a little bit in this muddy water. Yeah. They can just see it a little better, but uh, yeah, it's a nice, nice couple pounder there. Oh, Chris's turn now. Right. I'm hoping it's another walleye. I'm hoping it's another walleye. No, small walleye. All right. Nice one, though. Yeah. Not a bad one. Wow, that's interesting. Those those smallmouth fishing uh, swimming right with the walleyes, huh, yeah. Josh? They sure seem to. Yeah, they'll mix right in with them at times, where you never know what you're gonna have on on the cast. But yeah. man, that wind is just crazy today, isn't it? It's, it's been fun, you know, coming across that that open water. It was rough. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's blowing. There's probably 15 foot waves on the big lake right now. Good job, though. Chris. All right. Captain Josh Tigan guides Chaguamagon Bay and the St. Louis River on a daily basis. For more information, give Josh a call, 715-813-0575, 813-0575. If you are a spring walleye fisherman, grab some of these. They're an incredible bait. Kalins, rattling Google eye, hair chicks. Right there, Ryan. Ooh, that one pounded it. Wow, dude, that is my first cast. Beautiful walleye right there on the hair, man. Perky, lively, smacking hair jigs. Doesn't get much better, does it? Big, fat, chunky spring walleyes. I'll tell you what, folks, that wind keeps building, and we got to cross Chagormagon Bay to get back to the launch. I think we better get out of here. What's your thought? Yeah, it might be a good idea. As it's, uh, it's. It's picking up pretty good out here. Hey, thanks to Fleet Farm for sponsoring this uh, event. Uh, it was a lot of fun though, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been a blast and it's our pleasure to be able to, to support this, this program. All right, thank you, buddy. And folks, that whoa, and that is our show for today. Please join us next week. I don't know we're gonna fish it. We'll find a place somewhere. Until then, I'm John Gillespie, hoping to see you enjoying John Gillespie's Waters and Woods.